Happy Monday, everyone. Today, we're gonna do something different during the video. Right now, I want you to take a moment and open up this presentation on your Google Classroom. It should be labeled 31521. You're gonna open it up, and as we're going through this video, I would like you to follow along with the questions. Some of these questions, I'm gonna have you drag the answers along the Google presentation. Um, and then at the end, you're gonna turn in this presentation before you get started on your assignment. Think of this as your note page for today. Um, and these are just going to be graded off participation to get you familiar with some of the new concepts we're going to be learning today. So today's lesson is going to be focused on prefixes, roots, and suffixes. suffixes. It's a hard word to say all together. Um, do you know what these mean? Think about for a second, you see this picture, what pops in your head when you hear the word prefix, root, and suffix? Do you know what these words mean? Have you ever seen them before? What's an educated guess you could make based off of this picture? Well, let's figure it out together. So a majority of English words are made from smaller part or smaller word parts borrowed from the Greek and Latin language. Think of these as building blocks from other languages, and they can be identified within words that are new to you. And these can help you understand the meaning of the new words. So word parts or word sections fall into two categories, affixes or prefixes and suffixes and roots. Think of affixes as letter combinations that are added to other word parts. So they help build the full word, where the root is the base of the word. Now that might be confusing when you just look at these words, but we're gonna break it down a little further. So when we look at a prefix, this is the beginning of a word. So when we look at a prefix, this is a part of a word, and it always becomes at the beginning of a word, and it changes the meaning of a word. Now, we're gonna look at some examples of prefixes in just a moment, but that is the first part of a word. After prefix, we have root words. This holds the most basic meaning of any word and is what is left when you remove all prefixes and suffixes. But then finally, a suffix is a part of a word, but this comes at the end of that word, and it changes the meaning of the word. So let's put this into practice. This is when you're gonna be following along on your presentation and doing this alongside with me. So when we look at a prefix, let's define what this means. We're gonna drag these words down here to fill in the blanks. So a prefix is a group of letters added to the blank of a base word. So our options are roots, after, beginning, meaning, added, and affixes. What did we just learn? A prefix is a group of letters added to the beginning of a base word. A suffix is a group of letters added after a base word. Prefixes and suffixes change the meaning of a base word. Prefixes and suffixes are types of blank. What is it? Yep, you're right, it's affixes. And then finally, blank are also known as base words. This would be roots, which leads to our last word. Affixes can be added onto a root. So make sure that you filled in all those answers. Let's read it all together. So a prefix is a group of letters added to the beginning of a base word. A suffix is a group of letters added after a base word. Prefixes and suffixes change the meaning of a base word. And prefixes and suffixes are types of affixes. Roots are also known as base words. Affixes can be added onto a root. All right, and we are gonna sort these into categories. So let's think of what words have a prefix, which words have a suffix, and which words have a prefix and suffix. So we're gonna do a couple together and then you're gonna do them on your own. So let's look at this first one, dislike. Well, our base word is like, and there's something added to the beginning of it, dislike. So this has a prefix. 
Now this next one, smooth, is the base word for smoothly, and we see something is added to the end. So this would be a suffix. Now let's look at this last, this one here, misbehaved. Misbehaved, the base word inside is behave, and we see that something is added to the start and the end of this word creating misbehaved. This has a prefix and a suffix. So take a moment and rearrange the rest of the words. I'm gonna give you a minute to do that. Actually, no, you get to take as long as you need to. So pause the video right now while you go through this. And then when you're ready, play the video and we will organize the rest. So pause the video. All right, hopefully you filled out the rest of this and now you can check your answers. So operation, the base word is operate and we see that shun is added at the end, so it has a suffix. Preheat, the base word is heat and pre is added to the beginning, so this has a prefix. Unfair, fair is the base word and un is added to the beginning. Disorderly, the base word is order, and something is added to the start and the end of the word, making it a prefix and suffix. Voiceless, voice is the base word. Voiceless has a suffix. Unlikely, we see that something is added to the start of like and the end of like, making unlikely. So it has a prefix and a suffix. Strengthen, Strength is the base word, and we see a suffix has been added. Rearrange, arrange is the base word, which we see a prefix has been added. And disconnected, the base word is connect. We see that dis and ed have been added, creating a prefix and a suffix. Did you get all those right? Double check and rearrange anything that was incorrect. All right, now that we have done that, let's start thinking a little more about how we can apply this. So, can you tell what this means based on the words that can be made of them? So if we look at the prefix re, and we have the three words repeat, rewind, and redo, what do you think that means based off of the re? Well, to repeat something is to do it again, to rewind is to take it back so you can play it again. And to redo an assignment would to be to do the assignment again. So we can guess that re probably means to do it again. Ped, which is a root word. We have the words pedestrian, pedal, and biped. What body part do all three of those things uh, relate to? Well, it's the foot, so ped would mean foot. Then finally, full, which is a suffix, and if we look at successful, mindful, beautiful, we know that this means someone has a lot of this, like full, if you're full in your stomach, you've had a lot of food. So based off of these prefixes, roots, and suffixes, we can determine what a word means when we see it. So let's break apart a word for a second that has all three parts. So his daughter became famous for her calligraphy. Now the prefix Kali, which is in calligraphy, means beautiful. And the root graph means to write. And the suffix Y means related to. So if we know that, that Kali means beautiful, graph means to write, and why means related to, what do you think the dictionary defines calligraphy as? Take those three different definitions and put it together and try and think of a definition for the word calligraphy. Let's see what Webster's Dictionary has to say. So Webster's defines calligraphy as artistic, stylized, or elegant handwriting or lettering. Based off of knowing what is in the word calligraphy with roots, prefixes, and suffixes, we were able to get something close to this definition, even if we didn't know what the word means. So let's take a moment and break down prefixes even further. 
So take a moment and answer these questions with the prefixes. So you're gonna drag the words with prefixes into the correct sentence. So the kitty cat is so blank, she growls at everyone she sees. Wow, look at the blank going under the water. I think the internet blank again. It is never working correctly. Half a circle is a blank. We stood outside a scenic blank to see the mountains. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's blank. Today is my little sister's first day of blank. After the earthquake, the damaged school was blank. So take a minute, look at the word semicircle, disconnected, preschool, submarine, overlook, rebuilt, unfriendly, and superman, and drag the words to the correct section. Every single one of these words has a prefix. So pause the video and drag this, drag the words. All right, now you're ready to go. So let's see what the correct answers are. The kitty cat is so unfriendly. She growls at everyone she sees. Wow, look at the blank going under the water. This is submarine. It's under the water. I think the internet disconnected again. It never wor is working correctly. Half a circle is a semicircle. We stood outside a scenic overlook to see the mountains. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Today is my little sister's first day of preschool. And then finally, after the earthquake, the damaged school was rebuilt. So because we know each of these base words, we're able to better identify what the prefixes mean, like un, sub, dis, semi, over, super, pre and re mean because we're able to see the base word connected to the prefix. So take a moment and identify the prefixes in these four words. Drag these translucent rectangles over the prefix in each word. So remember a prefix is at the beginning of a word. So pause the video and when you're ready, you can play it again. All right. So when we look at this, the prefixes on non-stop is non, I guess it's not translucent. Okay, non, then we have pre, then we have for, and then sub, which create our root words stop, fix, ever, and merge. But when we uncover, the prefixes, we have new words based off of the meaning. Now we have non-stop, prefix, forever, and submerge. Now this next slide I want you to do on your own. So you are going to um, tell me the meaning of these prefixes based off of the numbers. So drag the correct number that each prefix means using the examples and the actual prefixes. So you're gonna do this one on your own. And then when you're ready, you're gonna play the video and continue on. Let's take a look at some roots. All right, so what you're gonna do for this slide is you are going to look up the definitions for each of these. Chroma, Bene, Lethos, Derma, Magnus, Via, Dense, Hippo, and Veritas. You're gonna type the meaning of it in the meaning category and then move on when you're done. Now we're gonna focus on suffixes. So which suffix belongs where? Take a moment and pause the video and drag the words to the correct part of the sentence. When you're ready, play the video and we'll go over the answers. All right, we are going to go over the correct answers at this point. So, I am blank for my friends and family. They are so kind and helpful. 
This word is thankful, full being the suffix. Wow, she is hopping blank on one foot. This would be backwards. Ooh. Backwards, she is hopping backwards on one foot. Words is the suffix. Now tap the drum very softly so we can barely hear it. Lee would be the suffix. He is starring in the school music Cole. He is a great singer. Cole being the suffix. I learned how to do the downward dog blank in yoga class. This would be position. Shun is the suffix. Let's blank and work together. Let's collaborate. Rate would be the um, would be the suffix. And then nothing is blank when we work together. Hopeless, less would be the suffix. And then finally, oh, uh, I'm blocking. Time to get blank in PE. This is active. Tiv is the suffix. Check your answers. Did you get those right? All right, and then you're gonna do the last slide on your own. You are going to highlight the suffixes in each of these words of angrily, sadness, beautiful, and punishment. Remember, they're at the end of the word. And when you're done, you may turn it in. And after you're done with this, you are going to complete the assignment um, of the root penance. So the root penance is where you're going to look at the example penance and then look up the definitions for all the other ones to fill out and create a colorful picture for each of your um each of your penance that have to do with a different root word. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the assignment or send me an email and I can help you out. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.